So, um, hello, I'm here to talk about the U-Bench, the open source hardware public, public bench that I created and that you've all seen downstairs in the cafeteria and the open space. So the idea is to go from a standard European EPA palette to a bench in uh, quick, easy steps. So about the name, why U-Bench? I pronounce it U-Bench. Uh, that is the... Well, that's how you can read it, how to pronounce it. It mimics uh, cryptic Scandinavian names, and you know what I'm referring to. And the UH stands for Urban, urban Hacker. Uh, the inspiration of it is about graffiti, graffiti art that you can see pretty much everywhere in urban areas, which is now called street art. And I recommend you read the So You Want to Write on Walls uh, by Mark Surface. And uh, it's a good text if you want to right on walls. Um, I'm also interested in guerrilla gardening and open source urban planning. These are the works, uh, urban works or street art works that inspired me. This one by William Lamson, that you may be aware of. Uh, or this one by Mark Jenkins, which is not a typical work by Mark Jenkins, but inspired me too. So the origin of this work is actually, <clears throat> I had this question in mind, that is, uh, what is the cheapest and easy easiest material you can find in urban areas? And uh, what was missing in my urban environment? And the easiest one I could find were pallets, because once you start looking for them, you find them pretty much everywhere, I mean, lay in the city. And so we, with a friend, we gathered some in our neighborhood and start playing with it, doing uh, benches for our little community garden or this, or this kind of bench that we set up in the street so that nobody could remove it, except by destroying it, with, which they did after a while. And this is the actual first uh, bench that I created, and that stayed in front of my house for a year and a half. And this came out of a pallet and, um, and stayed there without being attached and was used by neighbors, uh, homeless people, and so on, which was interesting. And, and, um, well, interesting to see how that, how that worked. Um, so how about the publication now? Um, it's always this question, you do something and then you have to document it and share it. And you, you always say, well, one day I will do it. But, uh, you know, you have peer pressure, you have your friends asking you to do it. And then finally, the neighbors wanted to do a workshop during a day so they could all have a bench in front of their house too. So that pushed me into releasing uh, this, the source code, uh, which I have, uh, uh, I have to hand out to people if they want to have a, you know, they want to build bench at their home. Um, this is some pictures of the workshop, the first one, with the neighbors. We didn't close the street, we just, you know, brought pallets and started building it in the street on a Sunday afternoon. This is what it looked like. So um, the question was about the license. I mean, I was already a great supporter of free culture, and I really want to release that bench as a free culture or open source hardware, like you call it. And uh, I realized that there was no real license, or there was no license called open source hardware. That was my first mistake. And I wish there was one. Uh, there are many licenses you can apply to open source hardware, but there's no real one that would that is really specially crafted for that kind of project. So I chosen Creative Commons, and uh, well, from then on, it's, it's been under that license, and I don't see much problem, except when I attended a Creative Commons meeting, and they said, well, you can't really use that license for that project because your work is based on a patented uh, ISO standard, which is a palette. And I say, well, pff, I don't give a damn much about it, but uh, this could be an interesting subject for any uh, law people into, I mean, interested in seeing if this is uh, something I can do or how could I do it. The advantages I see about using a uh, free, free license is that I've been called many times um, to, to, I mean, help and to build these benches at different places. And, uh, 
it gives me the chance to say, you don't need me to build that thing. So if you want to build it, if you want to use it for whatever purpose, you don't need me there. So if you want me to really be there to help you, well, then I will ask you for a fee. And uh, that has actually helped me a lot because, uh, you know, usually when you work on projects and uh, you don't release it as uh, open source or free, free to use, uh, people ask, call you to have that project, you know, uh, for, 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 for whatever, for whatever they, they, they call you for. But uh, if they don't have the money, you're kind of in a bad situation where you really want to help them do it, and, but you, you know, you got to make a living and so on. Here it's easy, it's that you don't need me. So if you don't need me, I mean, if you really want me, then you got to put a price on it. Um, use cases, uh, community gardens, done, done that. Festivals, I've done that too. Uh, I realized that uh, for street performers or performers that go sometimes into places where there's no, no, um, no benches and nothing for the public to sit, they might use it. Uh, it's also a good way to spread free, free culture and to um, areas where they have no idea about what that is. And uh, I don't know if they really understand what it is after I've, they've built the benches, but at least it's, they've heard about it. And uh, also the recycling, green and eco-minded people really like it. And I really like that they also uh, hear about free culture. Uh, this is uh, for the community garden with children. Uh, this is what it looks like. So it's not that bad. <laughs> and this is with um, teenagers that have dropped out of school and are put into a different, um, I mean, type of work and actions so they can start learning again. Thank you. This, and they especially liked the uh, decorating part. Uh, so the future, uh, I need to update the source code because uh, by building it a lot of time, I realized that there's some wrong or misleading part in uh, what I've given to you. I'm still waiting for someone to fork it and uh, I might work one day on a U table, that could be useful. It's also, uh, we've started in, with a couple guys from Brussels and Paris, a mailing list called uh, Open Source Product Design, where uh, you're invited to join if you're interested in to open source furniture, because we want to start discuss about the licenses and how to promote it and how to invest the design world, which is a very closed world, and to push free culture in that area. So thank you. My name was Julien de Soif, and you can find me on Twitter, and you can download and find more about the bench at this address. Thanks.